And we start tonight with the three big trending stories of the day. Uh, that's Francis Suarez, the newest person to file paperwork in the race for the White House. He's the mayor of Miami and the first Hispanic candidate to enter the primary this cycle. Michael Maisner, he was missing in April. Human remains were found on his Erie County property and now state police have charged a woman in connection with his murder. Plus, Bolitnikoff Field, named after former Erie football standout and NFL Hall of Famer Fred Bolitnikoff. We have a construction update on the Erie High Field that bears his name. So as we move to the main desk, we're going to chat a little bit more about these stories. We have new information tonight on that story out of Summit Township. It started as a missing persons case and it has turned into a homicide investigation. 35 year old Marissa Rodriguez charged with criminal homicide, aggravated assault, fraud, theft, and other charges. It's after 66 year old Michael Maisner was reported missing in April from his Summit Township home. Investigators say a welfare check discovered Marissa Rodriguez hiding in the attic. Now she took off. She was later located with his missing vehicle in Chautauqua County, New York. She was arrested, extradited back to Erie County and is jailed. Pennsylvania State Police say evidence determined Maisner suffered a gunshot wound to the head and torso. We also tonight have an update on the field named after former Erie football standout and NFL Hall of Famer Fred Bolitnikoff. He paid a visit to Erie and assisted in the groundbreaking back in May for the $6 million renovation project right off Peach Street. Construction is in the early stages, but there's progress. The bleachers, the field goal posts, they have been removed, and excavators are removing the top soil where the brand new artificial turf surface will be installed. Now, the project is expected to be completed by November, so that means it won't be used for football season for Erie High, but track and field athletes will be able to compete in the spring on the all new weather track, which is, which is being installed there as well. All right, we have.